Hi Founder fans, Jason here. We're back to normal and today's founder is Josiah Hornblower. Now I know you've never heard the name Hornblower, but he was extremely important to not just the early United States, but industrialization in the early United States. So when I say the word steam power, what might first come to mind is an old timey train or an 1800s factory, but what we don't really think of is mining. But truthfully, when steam power was first invented, the reason was to help mining. Because if you're digging a mine back in the old days, if you get deep enough, it's always going to flood. So, how do we get the water out? We invent something called an engine, and we pump water out of the mine. And that's where the first steam engines came from. Now, in the mid-1700s, the colonists wanted some of this. So the Schuyler family, yes, that Schuyler family, hires a young man named Josiah Hornblower to move to New Jersey and build an engine for one of their copper factories. Now, Josiah had learned how to build steam engines not just from his father, but from also from his older brother. And they were really the first generation of steam engine builders. So he comes around as a second generation engine builder, is the first person in the United States to build a steam powered engine. Now about 20 years go by and the American Revolution sets in. And during this time, Josiah Hornblower had truly become an American. He had fought during the French and Indian War. He had joined the New Jersey militia, though there's no evidence he actually fought in the war. But in 1777, just after independence was declared, he was elected to the New Jersey Assembly. And a few years later, he was moved up to the Legislative Council, which was kind of like a mix of the state senate and the governor cabinet. Uh, and even by 1784, he was elected to represent New Jersey in the Continental Congress. Granted, this was in that period of time where the Continental Congress wasn't doing too much after the American Revolutionary War, before the United States Constitution, but still, he was a Continental Congress person. Now, uh, he would try and retire not long after this, but uh, his community called on him and elected him to serve as a county judge where he spent the rest of his life. Now, I know we ran through his life pretty quickly, but I need to reiterate how important it is that he brought the steam engine to the United States, because even on the eve of the Constitutional Convention, Tenge Coax, who ended up being one of the most important craftsmen of Hamilton's future uh, original Treasury Department plan, uh, he specifically mentioned steam engine in his speech about commerce in the future of the United States. So steam was there and it was growing. And as the American Revolution is ending, well, right behind it, the Industrial, the Industrial Revolution is setting in. As I've talked about before, for example, Paul Revere was a very important to the Industrial, Revo Re Industrial Revolution in the young United States. Uh, and we obviously know Paul Revere for many other things. And Josiah Hornblower's work, bringing the steam engine to the United States, is impossible to understate how important this was in transitioning from colonial, old-timey means of doing things to the future, where before he arrived, if you were not a man, animal, or running water, you did not generate power. And now there was this whole new source. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like. If you're new here, definitely hit subscribe. If you're not new here, I tried some things going live this week. I made some mistakes. I'm just going back to normal. Don't you worry about any of that. It was worth a shot. Although we still will have our live Wednesday review. We're at 8.15 Eastern Standard Time, where we discuss the last seven articles I published on founderoftheday.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be back to you with a regular video on Monday.